Marie is um, an artist polyvalent and it's, um, it's always so inspiring work with her. Um, I love her way to approach uh, in very simple uh, to, um, to uh, her idea of choreography and vision of movement. Uh, never come to us and ask, um, oh, please, can you do this movement? It's always the process of creation coming from something that is inside of us. She has an idea that is a general idea, and after um, improvising during uh, the process of creation, she pick some uh, um, part, some image, and she start to work on. This is it starts from something that she see and usually is always uh, related uh, uh, personally to um, a really true um, sensation or emotion that I live it during the improvisation. Um, Marie is very, very clever and is very, uh, is an animal. Um, she smells, she feels, and she really um, co is connected to something that is not human sometimes, I can say it. As, um, uh, she's a visionary too, and you can, I, I really trust um, her in the process of creation, and I really feel comfortable uh, about the vision that she has of me like an artist. And uh, about the collaboration? Yes. How, what kind of yes. Um, uh, in the process of creation, I already does uh, uh, three creation with Marie. And um, she uh, uh, start with uh, an idea very basic. And uh, sometimes she really don't know where she uh, will go. So she don't know really what is the end. And this is very interesting because leave open the possibility to explore, to go deep in the work. And uh, the collaboration is, yes, it, we can speak about collaboration because she worked with the improvisation in the beginning or uh, she arrived with an idea of a system, movement of system. So this means that she has a, a she visualize an idea of what can be a body in a movement. She asked to us, for example, to uh, move the spine, uh, have a, like big long legs, and for example, arms that are very uh, geometric. And from that is about us, what we will bring. And after she go day by day deeper on this um, process of creation, with the using the musicality, so we, we start to listen to music with her that she usually creates with another artist that is uh, Louise Dufour, that is a musician artist that worked with her since 20 years. And so mm, we found together um, what is the musical cue, what sh uh, how she sees the musicality is very specific and it's very inspiring. Uh, um, uh, uh, for example, in Ginopedi, we use it, um, uh, the partition of uh, Ginopedi 1, 2, and 3, and uh, uh, see her how she was seeing the movement on the note or uh, on the staccato or on how she was visualizing this. Uh, it was inspiring, it was interesting, it was not usual, and was opening new windows inside of my brain and inside of my soul. Mm -hmm. um, what do okay. Oh my God, it's <laughs> um, it's it's a lot. Let's say th that um, mm, when we create uh, with Marie, it's always um, she always pick something that uh, um, and used in her work. Uh, something that I'm living in my private life or I lived in my past. And uh, it's very mm, unique because she's very sensitive about that. She don't ask me what it was or what, I, mm, what I'm passing or what I'm living, but she felt that it's something true and she shows that and she starts to work with this uh, real um, um, emotion 
that is living in the body or something that is a real part of me and part this m part of my color but in the same time she know what is my color and she tried to always uh, to mm, uh, found new colors she always said oh Valeria let's found another way uh, uh, to another f nuance of uh, emotion I know that you are for example very dramatic but let's find something more light and so it's always uh, a challenge uh, and it's always uh, um, uh, going through like try to be better but not like try to find a new solution about what this what is this life in any case because movement is life and so but um, yeah it's very 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 inspiring work with Maria I'm very very happy artistically okay um, for I for sure Marie uh, choose uh, body that are uh, very specific um, uh, a body in audition for sure she is all she loved to see a dancer that she loved to pick up a dancer in the company that has already a background technical background mm, like in ballet or uh, even not ballet but uh, that has a technique a body that is athletic but in the same time she don't love too much that because she said I need to work with this body I need to work and I need to find like uh, a space where I can mod m modeling uh, the way how he moves. So, um, Marie Love, of course, um, uh, and um, a body that is always engaged, that is um, totally engaged from the top of the the head to the fingers to the spine is something that energetically need to move like it's uh, so it doesn't matter what is your background but it's important that um, is a, a body that is alive that is something that is vibrating and uh, of course uh, when you start to enter uh, when you start to uh, learn the work of Marie the repertoire and when you start to work with her you know that uh, the work of the spine is very important and everything all is start from there it's the base of their work and from the spine the use of the voice the face the fingers the the um, the, um, the 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 face uh, even the face the voice is all connected with the colon and is everything um, express there is not uh, um, in the work of Marie a neutral face it's uh, you will never found that and uh, this is a specific part so Marie ask uh, uh, an interpreter that is complete that is ready to really um, go deep inside of an emotion but uh, uh, not be shy to uh, really show the humanity that is inside <laughs> yeah Yes, but it's even the base of where uh, um, all the mm, Eastern um, culture based all the p point of energy is even the part from this idea of where is the emotion come. It's, it's the base where there are the emotion and it's the base of where the chakra. So it's, uh, it's where it start the movement. It start always from the colon and go to um, to the extremity of the legs and the arms but uh, this does means that the arms are like not used and they are very used and even the fingers until the top are always very well defined in the work of Marie and, uh, about this, uh, yes Yeah. The the first sorry repeat. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um 
um, I, um, I think that uh, uh, from inside, for sure, is something that I live that is uh, uh, not necessarily the same that what you will see from outside. I can tell you from inside, for sure, and thinking about what Marie said, that we are, Sacco de Printemps is uh, uh, basically a lot of solo in a piece of group. There are few sections that are uh, uh, group section, but uh, basically it's in some solo and the, the light is very like, um, um, there are spots. There are spots where appear, you see appearing each solos. So in probably you can see uh, the use of the light um, a kind of this creature that is in the middle between earth and sky and I can see this and I can uh, think that probably this can be the idea what it means uh, apparition that you are speaking about from inside and for what I feel dancing sacre since already five years it's uh, really um, animal like um, uh, ancestral uh, uh, um, uh, 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 feeling that uh, it's and it's always and really there you can see the work of the spine and it's start the beginning of the research of this choreographer because Sacre du Printemps is uh, already 20 years old choreography and is there you can see um, the the struggling of the human, of the hurt and the passion and the sexuality, and um, but with an aesthetic very, very precise, with use of the um, sending energy from one side of the other, with then, for example, trio diago that is like this, or the sensuality of um, uh, solo jambe, or uh, like it's very. Um, a fire with uh, sexuality with uh, fl you can see flowers you can see um, creature but in the same time human and is uh, a piece where the music is very strong the musicality is used in a way where like uh, for us that we are interpreter are it's very like cardio and is uh, specific on the note with the light so it's kind of like survivor. This when you dance sacre, you go through like a, a survivor state, where um, oh, I will make, for example, I need to be on in in the spot where will be the light before the cue musical. But when I dance, I will be my body is an instrument that is adding to the music of Stravinsky. So there is um, a freedom, but uh, in a uh, space that is um, constipated in the spot. Uh, so it's, um, you are soloist, but at the same time so you are in group. So it's kind of like uh, the pattern that a human being do, do uh, being alive in this world, walking and uh, with other humans, but it's in the same time, it's what is my processus in this life. It's kind of that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, is yes, and and in the same times uh, you are connect with the other dancers because uh, it's uh, it's a solo, but uh, we it's made by a lot of solo. But in the same times you are often dancing with other two, three solos, or you are going traveling with the configuration of body around the other douche that is like shower of light, and you are going. It's uh, it's very like it's lonely, but it's not lonely. The dance of m the dance of Marie. It's uh, and she loved to make uh, um, make in um, uh, in light the personality of each dancer, of each artist that is unique. It's like the dance of life. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. It, let's say the complex, not complex. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say that we start, we, we spoke about Sacre du Printemps, that is a piece uh, uh, mm, that is a historical piece, and we pass over the last creation of Wari, where we pass from uh, Sacre du Printemps, that is a lot of solo solos, and we arrive to a piece that mm, is a major piece of group, and is the first, uh, is one of the most group piece that Marie does until uh, now or that I know like and that uh, because I dance all the repertoire until now this I can say that I can say that is mostly a group piece so and for uh, the complexity of the painting of Bosch well Marie <laughs> is um, is a genius in a way how she can um, simply found a solution to things that are very, very complex. And in that, every day I can see it, every day that I work with her, I can see how she uh, is brilliant to found uh, the essence of the, the things. And so she approached to create Bosch in a way that was uh, basically, she put uh, her in, how I say, the, um, uh, a service in France with on this elle s'est mise à service de Bosch, the Louvre de Bosch. Yes, to Bosch uh, painting, and uh, it was a, a process where we take each image. For example, we start the process of creation with the um, the central. Uh, painting that is uh, uh, let's say the um, the purgatory but we don't say the purgatory but it's the central uh, picture because our is a triptych and uh, we just work on um, take the image see the image visualize and reproduce physically but in the same time found the emotion behind this image and we just work on this improvisation and she simply chose what was the best for her and what there was touching. In the same time she worked with the video because we, di we need to say that Bosch is not just a, a dance but there is an installation with the video that come in the same times where the dance are proposing the image physically on stage and um, so it's really like uh, the a composition is co is an, uh, a complex um, oeuvre where Marie saw the dance, the video, and she connect with the music. It's arrived very. It was a process very easy for her and very easy for us. Mm, uh, yes, is this? What I think that I represent, I represent um, myself. I represent me, the human that I'm, I am, and um, I try to be connect with the work of Marie, what we does with the uh, the image, and I try to reproduce, not reproduce. I try to live. Um, the emotion that was related that different image <coughs> sorry during the process of creation i remember very well for example a solo that i have that she shows what was behind of this uh, improvisation the emotion that i bring in that so i try to reconnect with that and um, i try to reconnect to my colleague that because it's a piece of group, so um, and I try to clean, uh, kind of clean my my energy from uh, something that can distract. Because we are human, and everyone has uh, his own uh, story. So that's it.